Boom! Welcome back everybody to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint and today we're doing a one take bag review on the Fast Pack Scout from Triple Aught Design. All right, let's get into this thing. What a cool looking little bag. Look at that, look at that. Gorgeous bag. So the Fast Pack series from Triple Aught Design is a, a wide range of bags that kind of all stacks on each other. Different sizes, you've got the Scout, which is the smallest size. You've got the EDC, you've got, I think there's four different sizes. Anyway, check out the website, link as always in the video description. I'm delighted to get my hands on this little tiny beast. I love EDC backpacks. I love day packs. I love the smallest possible size for my daily carry because I have a small daily carry. Slings, small backpacks, 20 liters or less. That's my sweet spot. It's what I love. Love a good travel bag, but usually don't require 35 liters worth of gear hauled around with me on a daily basis. Most of you don't either. Anyway, you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. That means we're gonna do a full straight shot walkthrough of this bag, interior, exterior, all the nooks and crannies. When we get done with that walkthrough, you're gonna get two things that I love about this bag, two things that I think could be better, and an overall recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? Again, the Fast Pack Scout from Triple Lot Design. All right, let's get into this honker. First off, I would love to say that Triple Lot Design builds quality and cool colorways. This is in Multicam Black. The Scout was available in five or six different colorways. And if you check out, I think they call it the Armory. But anyway, they also offer some different custom customization options or choose your own adventure options on their site every now and again. Their site is a little tough to navigate, my personal opinion, because it's not just bags. It's a whole bunch of stuff. So you got all kinds of clothes, all kinds of attachments, all kinds of... But I'll, I'll put the direct link in to the backpack section, and you can check out everything that's on offer there and all the different varieties of stuff. This is Multicam Black. This is a 15-liter backpack, and it is cool. I love it. When I was first reading about this bag on their site, um, it, it said um, there was, I forget the word, it was um, combinable or something. It was a, a word that began with C and I misread it and I misread it and I read the word capsule. And ever since then, that's the word that's been in my head. It wasn't even actually on the site, but this little, this little capsule pack, yeah. I love it. Maybe it was collapsible. But anyway, capsule is the word that's in my head. It's a little egg-shaped wonder, and it is. it packs a ton of functionality into a small space. So exterior-wise, for a military bag, a tactical bag, there is not a lot of <clears throat> Molly attachment points, PALS webbing. This is a smooth-looking bag. It does have some modularity. It does have some additional functions and some um, cool stuff going on in the exterior that I'm about to show you, but it's not covered in all kinds of extra stuff. Now, what does it have? It does have these two straps with strap keepers um, that kind of just pop off. I'll show you those in the close-up on camera number two. But these two straps and these two straps stretch across the front. Now, they're not compression straps, but they will allow you to strap something to the bag or potentially strap this bag to something else, a larger bag as an example, as a kind of a modular piece in your carry. But both of these kind of pop off, stretch across the front, and you can buckle them across the front. And you'll see that in the picture that I use for the video description here, but also um, you'll see that in the uh, that I use for the thumbnail. You'll see that in the images on their site as well of this Fastpack Scout. Okay, uh, and by the way, as of the recording of this video, it is sold out on the site, but I would anticipate continued restocks and new runs and constant iterations and new improvements. So you may not be able to get this exact version, but you'll be able to get similar bags from the maker moving forward. All right, so uh, 
I talked about the straps that stretch across, across the front. I should talk about the uh, harness system itself. Super well padded. I'll wear this bag at the end of the video for you, but it is a small bag, but the straps are really comfortable. They're kind of floating straps attached lower and then with strap um, load lifters up top here. So it sits, it rides a little high on your back and it feels really nice to wear. You do have D-ring attachment points on the straps. You do have a sternum strap on the straps. And you also have at the very bottom here, let me flip these out of the way a little bit. By the way, very nice, well-cushioned uh, back panel here with a huge air channel. Feels really nice. You also have a one inch nylon stabilizer strap. It doesn't really carry much load. It's not really a, a waist strap for that, but it does stabilize the backpack. If you were running with this bag, that would be very useful. And again, it just kind of rolls up. It's got its own strap keeper. And then you just pop that off if you want to deploy it and use it. Um, so a little bit of dangle, but not much. And if you are never going to be out running around the desert with this bag, you could always just take a pair of scissors and cut it off if you didn't want it. All right. Yeah. Is that it on the exterior? Well, I'm, I'm grabbing this really nice grab handle, leather covered, leather wrapped, feels very nice. There is a hydration port exit vent on the top of the bag as well. So you can hang a hydration bladder and yeah, aqua guard zippers, really nice zipper pulls from triple lot design. Yeah. Really, really nice. I think it's time for me to show you one of the pockets. And before we go to camera number two, I just want to show you this pocket in camera number one, because it's really unique. And it took me a second to understand and appreciate how cool this pocket was. But check this out. There is a reverse pocket here. There's a pocket up here, obviously, but there's a reverse pocket down here that's hook and loop. So you pop this open and you have a pocket that kind of sits out. It's really unique. I don't know that I've ever seen it before, except for maybe shoe compartments, but you can use this uh, and it's lined. This is X-Pack. It's lined on the inside here. And you can use this to stuff, you know, something you want to keep separated from the rest of your gear, stuff it up in there, slap it down with the hook and loop. And you've got this kind of reverse access pocket that is really cool and really separate from everything else going on in the bag. I don't know that I've seen anything quite like that before, but I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, well thought out design and it still retains this kind of smooth look overall in the front of the bag, but you've got this secondary access pocket on the front of the bag where your gear will be separate if it's, if it's wet, if it's muddy, if it's something you want to keep a, a little bit hidden. So it's not quite a hidden pocket, but it is yeah, really unique. I like it a lot. And I thought it was a really cool little um, invention by the team over at Triple Lot Design. All right, time to jump into camera number two. Let's check out all the pockets going on on this tiny little capsule bag. As promised, here we are in camera number two and I have the Fast Pack Scout arrayed in front of us to check out. So. Uh, let me show you that pocket one more time, this kind of reverse entry pocket from the from the down under. Unzip, pop open, and the pocket itself runs the whole length of this front panel, which, again, really unique. Never seen anything quite like that before. I, I really, really enjoyed it. All right, unzip this for the first pocket, the first traditional pocket, AquaGuard zipper, and a beautiful olive ripstop interior here. Very, very nice. And you can see the backing of this X-Pack material, the Multicam Black X-Pack. And you can see we've got an admin pocket in here. Let me take out these headphones. And we've got a really nice admin pocket with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different pockets, compartments here. And a key leash, eight, eight. Here's another one over here. <laughs> so much going on. Um, I've got a little lightning cable in here. I've got some pins. Got my Leatherman in here. Got a wallet in here. And this pocket, again, got a gear hook in here. This pocket, 
Look at how big this thing is. It goes all the way down again. This whole entire thing is one big quick access pocket and it's really nice. And I like this better than, you know, I, I sometimes like really get on go ruck as an example for having one pocket at the top that's really hard to get into but this one you can see has this kind of semi-circular shape to it and that semi-circular shape and the volume of the pocket means that it's not difficult to get to the gear that's in this pocket yeah so it's actually a really useful pocket when it has this bowed out semi-circular shape so again remember the whole bag is kind of capsule or pill shaped and that semi-circular shape to this exterior pocket. Now it can also be crunched down. It's not a hard shell, but when it has stuff in it, it's popped out and it, yeah, it's really, really nice, really enjoyable pocket. We'll open up this main compartment now, the main event. And what do we have in here? Well, I've tossed a water bottle in here kind of see the size here this is a hydro flask 20 liter hydro flask and it fits just fine in this bag with room to spare but there is no traditional bottle pocket so if that's an important thing to you just know and there's a not as much going on with the attachment points on the outside as most tactical bags so a little hard to attach a bottle holder out top, out the back but remember you can do a hydration bladder in here with no issues this, well, let's do this side first. On the front, on the back side of the front panel, you have one giant mesh pocket. I've tossed my Kindle in there, but you could toss, I mean, a lot in there. So it runs up and down inside and it's lined with the backing of that X-Pack and it just is a good looking pocket. Looks really nice. And it's got this pleat in it, which gives it a little expandability and dimension. Nice and made in the USA, everybody. On the back, I have added in this office attachment available from Triple Lot Design. Got my titanium spork, my hero clip, and then down here, you've got another pocket. So you can add this in, or you can uh, put in, in these attachment points here, a hydration bladder and run it out through this port. So, Lots of options and modularity available with the bag and the attachment points inside the bag. Uh, yeah, really nice. Now, there are not any pockets on the back of the bag. And you can see these are the floating straps with the load lifters. All right, I think that's the full walkthrough of this bag. Why don't you, oh, I wanted to show you these as well. So these are the straps that kind of roll up and the little pop on, pop off strap keepers that they've designed on this bag. And you just tug the, tug the elastic there and it pops off and uh, deploys the strap. Yep, all right, everybody, meet me back at camera number one. Let's talk about this bag. So, interesting bag, right? It's a small one, but it's a cool one and there's a lot going on and it might be one of the coolest little small tactical bags on the market. So, two things that I love about this bag. First off, this front pocket is awesome, awesome. So, and I'm going to say, I'm gonna cheat here and say the front pocket this way and the front pocket this way. So remember, this front pocket has kind of dual purpose. You get to stuff stuff in the front this way and then you get your admin compartment this way, and the pocket has such cool dimension. You can see just how far this billows out from the front of the bag. This capsule shape, this egg shape, a really good design and a really nice shape for a bag. It works really well and it looks great, okay? So first off, the organization, including the admin and including the reverse separated section on the front here, mm really, really nice. The second thing that I love about this bag is actually the straps. You'll get to see me wear this bag in a second, but these straps, yes, there is a dangle factor. You can see they hang below the bag, and they, they, they hang real low, and they swing to and fro, and how, however that song goes, uh, but they're very, very comfortable. Like a really good strap setup on this bag, really nice. This bag 
clocks in at about $200. That's the cheapest in the entire uh, Fast Pack series from um, Triple Lot Design. So, you know, is that too much for a bag? That's up to you. But these Fast Pack series go all the way north to like $390. So this is the cheapest entry, the smallest entry. For my money, the best bang for your buck and the coolest little bag in the series. I like it a lot. And I like it in the multi-cam black and in some of the other more unique colorways they've got going on too. Um, all right, two things that I think could be better about this bag. Well, I do wish that this bag had a dedicated tablet sleeve inside the bag. Uh, I know that this bag is for more than a small EDC carry. Um, but a little tablet sleeve, I would have really, really enjoyed a padded tablet sleeve inside this bag. That's one thing that I think could be better about the bag. The second thing that I think could be better about the bag is I actually don't like all these dangling straps. So the one inch hip belt, all of these straps that can be run across the front of the bag, um, snip snip time i don't like all the dangling i don't like all the buckles but i do recognize how important they are for some users so potentially even a version of this bag that is tech focused would be total fire like a tablet sleeve inside it um, and all the dangle cut away and maybe even maybe even you don't need the load lifters then but i don't know uh <laughs> then it really is changing the dna of the bag but Triple Lot Design, you have made a really cool bag here. Who might it be the perfect bag for? Well, actually, if you are going to be active and kind of running around the desert, as I mentioned earlier, and you need a little hydration bag, and you're looking at kind of camelback stuff, take a look and see if you can get your hands on a Fast Pack Scout. This is a fun little bag with lots of storage options, and I, this thing would really take a licking and um, yeah. So I actually think this is a fun, unique bag for EDC, for a minimalist EDC, for running around a city, but it would really shine for outdoor activities, for day trip hiking, um, for like toss some cliff bars in the sucker, run around, use the little, the little strap that I said I wanted to cut off. Uh, but why do I say it would be so good? Because the straps are so comfortable and because the storage is so good and unique um, and it's hydration port compatible for the, the bag itself. So yeah, good bag, had a lot of fun playing around with it and um, it makes me want another triple lot design bag, but something that would incorporate this gorgeous front pocket into a slightly bigger bag. So I'm gonna be playing around on their website and seeing kind of what I can find. But y'all, hope you enjoyed this review of the Triple Lot Design Fast Pack Scout. Remember, there's a lot of different bags in that series. This is the Scout, the smallest one, the lightest one, the, the little, you know, 15-ish liter bag. Yeah, all right, y'all. Thank you so much for all the love and support. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching all the videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. As always, everyone, that's it for now. And we will see you next time.